This video is about the service history of the Bismarck battleship and how it sank in the Second World War. Bismarck was the first of two Bismarck-class battleships built for Nazi Germany's Kriegsmarine. Named after Chancellor Otto von Bismarck, the ship was laid down at the Blohmann Voss shipyard in Hamburg in July 1936 and launched in February 1939. Work was completed in August 1940 when she was commissioned into the German fleet. Bismarck and her sister ship Tirpitz were the largest battleships ever built by Germany and two of the largest built by any European power. The two Bismarck-class battleships were designed in the mid-1930s by the German Kriegsmarine as a counter to French naval expansion, specifically the two Richelieu-class battleships France had started in 1935. Laid down after the signing of the Anglo-German Naval Agreement of 1935, Bismarck and her sister Tirpitz were nominally within the 35,000 long ton, 36,000 t, limit imposed by the Washington Naval Treaty that governed battleship construction in the interwar period. The ship secretly exceeded the figure by a wide margin, though before either vessel was completed, the international treaty system had fallen apart following Japan's withdrawal in 1937, allowing signatories to invoke an escalator clause that permitted displacements as high as 45,000 long tons, 46,000 t. Bismarck displaced 41,700 t, 41,000 long tons, as built in 50,300 t. 49,500 long tons, fully loaded, with an overall length of 251 meters, 823 feet 6 in, a beam of 36 meters, 118 feet 1 in, and a maximum draft of 9.9 .9 meters, 32 feet 6 in. The battleship was Germany's largest warship and displaced more than any other European battleship, except for HMS Vanguard, commissioned after the war. Bismarck was powered by three Blohmann Voss geared steam turbines and 12 oil fired Wagner superheated boilers, which developed a total of 148,116 ships, 110,450 kilowatts, and yielded a maximum speed of 30.01 knots, 55.58 kilometers per hour, 34.53 miles per hour, on speed trials. The ship had a cruising range of 8,870 nautical miles, 16,430 kilometers, 10,210 mi, at 19 knots, 35 kilometers per hour, 22 miles per hour. Bismarck was equipped with three Fumo 23 search radar sets, mounted on the forward and stern rangefinders in foretop. The standard crew numbered 103 officers and 1,962 enlisted men. The crew was divided into 12 divisions of between 180 and 220 men. The first six divisions were assigned to the ship's armament, divisions 1 to 4 for the main and secondary batteries, and 5 and 6 manning anti-aircraft guns. The 7th division consisted of specialists, including cooks and carpenters, and the 8th division consisted of ammunition handlers. The radio operators, signalmen, and quartermasters were assigned to the 9th division. The last three divisions were the engine room personnel. When Bismarck left port, fleet staff, prize crews, and war correspondents increased the crew complement to over 2,200 men. Roughly 200 of the engine room personnel came from the light cruiser Karlsruhe, which had been lost during Operation Wissarabing, the German invasion of Norway. Bismarck's crew published a ship's newspaper titled Die Schiffsglück. This paper was only published once, on 23 April 1941, by the commander of the engineering department, Gerhard Junak. Bismarck was armed with A38 cm, 15 in, SKC 34 guns arranged in four twin gun turrets, two super firing turrets forward, Anton and Bruno, and two aft, Caesar and Dora. Secondary armament consisted of 12 15 cm, 5.9 in, L55 guns, 16 10.5 cm, 4.1 in, L65 and 16 3.7 cm, 1.5 in, L83, and 12 2 cm, 0.79 in, anti-aircraft guns. Bismarck also carried four Arado R196 reconnaissance floatplanes in a double hangar amidships and two single hangars abreast the funnel, with a double-ended, athwartship catapult. The ship's main belt was 320 mm, 12.6 in, thick and was covered by a pair of upper and main armored decks that were 50 mm, 2 in, 
and 100 to 120 mm, 3.9 to 4.7 in, thick, respectively. The 38 cm, 15 in, turrets were protected by 360 mm, 14.2 in, thick faces and 220 mm, 8.7 in, thick sides. In the course of the warship's eight-month career under her sole commanding officer, Captain Ernst Lindemann, Bismarck conducted only one offensive operation, lasting eight days in May 1941, codenamed Rheinubing. The ship, along with the heavy cruiser Prinz Eugen, was to break into the Atlantic Ocean and raid Allied shipping from North America to Great Britain. The two ships were detected several times off Scandinavia, and British naval units were deployed to block their route. At the Battle of the Denmark Strait, the battlecruiser HMS Hood initially engaged Prince Eugen, probably by mistake, while HMS Prince of Wales engaged Bismarck. In the ensuing battle, Hood was destroyed by the combined fire of Bismarck and Prince Eugen, which then damaged Prince of Wales and forced her retreat. As we know the Bismarck was laid down in 1936 and launched in 1939. It displaced 52,600 tons, mounted eight 15-inch, 38-centimeter, guns, and had a speed of 30 knots. In May 1941 the battleship, which was commanded by Admiral Gunther Lutjens, was sighted off Bergen, Norway, by a British reconnaissance aircraft. Practically the entire British home fleet was immediately sent into action to intercept it. Two cruisers made contact off the coast of Iceland, and the battleship Prince of Wales and battlecruiser Hood soon engaged it. After destroying the Hood with a shell that exploded in the magazine, the Bismarck escaped into the open sea and soon began heading for Brest in German-occupied France. Sighted by aircraft 30 hours later, May 26, it was hit by a torpedo that crippled its steering gear, and the ship was bombarded throughout the night by battleships. On the morning of May 27 King George V and the Rodney, King George V, and the Rodney, in an hour-long attack, incapacitated the Bismarck, and an hour and a half later it sank after being hit by three torpedoes from the cruiser Dorsetshire. Of some 2,300 crew aboard the Bismarck, only about 110 survived. In 1989 an expedition led by American oceanographer Robert Ballard located the wreck of the Bismarck. The battleship was found lying upright at a depth of more than 15,000 feet, 4,572 meters.